So the other night, I asked you guys if you would be down with me to play some old N64. Um, I didn't mention that it was going to be emulated, but it doesn't really make a difference for the, uh, the N64. But what does make a difference is... Oh, nice. Auto-focused. Cool. That bad boy. So, uh, I bought this $15 remote control a while back, and I've had it, had it for quite a while, but I was too lazy, too cheap to go out and fix it at Walmart, so to go buy a new one, I mean, replace it. So what we're going to do is connect, connect the colors, simple as that, and uh, I brought my wire cutters, solder, soldering gun, you'll see, and um, first, we got to dig in to my bag of electrical cords, and find, sorry if this is one-sided, my mic stand is really MacGyver. I'm going to dig into my bag of cords and find the power adapter to my soldering gun. So, let's go find it. Alright, so, we're going to uh, get rid of that. We got our power strips, power strips here. Get rid of those. And um, when I can, I try to organize these as best I can and wrap them up tightly so that they don't get tangled with uh, anybody else's, anybody else's cords. I'm giving them personalities now, apparently, so. the way these sound. Christmas is coming up. And you know I really should, I, uh, I did a video where I had my studio lit with red Christmas lights. And it's actually, I've seen a couple other videos like that. It sounds really good. And I think we just, this one sounds good too. Scope that plugs right into your phone. There we go. Nice. Here we go. Alright, so you know how I know this is it? This is Weller. And this actually can't see it, but it doesn't say Weller anywhere on it, but this soldering gun does say 18 watts, 18 watts, and um, 18 watts, and 9 volts, and mathematically, voltage times amperage, amperage or current, another word for amperage, um, voltage, there's a plane, I forgot where it was, but Voltage times current equals wattage. So if we know it's 9 volts and 18 watts, we know the amperage must be 2. So, this little guy, right here, actually says 2,000 milliamps. And I guess they're writing it in milli, so that we know, we can be Rest, we can rest assured, and of course that's what we want to do here, isn't it? Because uh, we're trying to rest very assured, very assured here. Um, 
then it's very precise and uh, exactly at two amps. And of course, it does say nine nine volts, nine volts right up in there. So that's our guy. And uh, if we were being real here, I actually knew where where it was exactly. I just wanted an excuse to rifle through my cords because I always loved the sounds. A nice, thick, insulated, waxy core. as I thought. Or maybe I'm secretly making this harder than it needs to be for the ASMR, for the ASMR experience. A little bit of both. Okay, we are plugged in, ready to aside for now. And what I'm going to do is give myself a little slack here. Put the scale right here. And maybe undo this while I'm here. Sorry, I still haven't really set up the uh, microphone so I can talk to it. Because I don't want to be talking in just one ear. Where you can uh, still see what I'm doing, but... Okay. And, uh... We're going to use this little tool right here. To give us a little more space, peel off a little bit of that insulation, and maybe not that much, and I always screw it up and I actually haven't done this in a long time, so there's a good chance I might cut some cords that I don't want to cut, yeah, not doing so, not doing so good. Or what the damage was here. <laughs> Damn. Alright, so. Clearly I, uh, I just lost an entire green cord. That wasn't good. But we still have all the others. Let's try that again. See what we can uh, figure more for that. Okay. All 
really hope this is uh, focusing on here. I can't really tell. But uh, we just need to get this off. And we'll be golden. This might be the hardest part of the whole video. Actually, might need to adjust this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get one of my sharp knives. Maybe even these scissors. damage the uh, the internal insulation a little bit but not as bad as I thought okay so that was one sixth of the work now let's keep going to uh, maybe I'll make this a sped up YouTube montage I'll show you just uh, show me uh, failing a bunch of times and then hopefully finally succeeding or maybe I, I fail and just go out and buy a new one. Let's find out. Okay, so. So this little guy here. Actually, gonna make this a little bit smaller. Let's see that hole right there is just not big, uh, small enough. Get your mind out of the gutter, guys. Okay, so let's get a tool. So I got so I got this 
this loosened up here. And uh, what we're going to want to do is just loosen it up and slide it down so that we get an even smaller opening. And that, that looks about okay right there. Keep it tight, keep it tight right there. because it tries to slide down on you. Yeah, it just did that. Just like it did. Damn, I don't know how these auto mechanic YouTube channels do it. It's really hard. Keep your dang patience. <laughs> no, it's really hard to shoot the film. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's find out if that works. some of the wires there, but I got enough. I got enough, I think. And we're going to do that with all of these. What I'm going to do is twist this up so it doesn't, so I don't lose any more. And push them out of the way. Move on to the white guy. Move on to Mr. White. So I better watch what I say or else I'm going to ruin this. 
So I gotta be real, real, real careful, like, doing this. I don't know why the black one is, uh, giving me all the trouble here. There we go. Okay. focusing on it. I can't really tell. Okay, here we go. There we go. Alright. Okay, just the white and the red. White and the red. side to be old. Look at that. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do a Mr. Rogers style. How he doesn't throw a sweater on the couch. He always goes the extra mile, takes the extra minute to hang it up so he doesn't have to do it later. 
brush all these, brush all these pieces right off to the side here. Okay. Okay, so we have each little piece here. What I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to spin it together. them individually and then twist them together and then we're going to solder them and wrap them up with some electrical tape which is specially engineered to be heat resistant and we should be able to play some Nintendo I'm going to try to s figure out how to set up the OBS live later so maybe tonight we can do it and um yeah this is friday august 3rd so this video probably actually it definitely won't be out tonight so so when i say tonight i of course mean by the time you're watching this well in the past You guys know how easy it is to bend metal, you, you know, eating utensils, so, cutlery, so, uh, these thin, thin, thin metal wires break so easily, so I gotta be really careful, really delicate with them. job 
I'm just punching them up at this point. And uh, let's see, we got the yellow and black to do. Go ahead and heat this bad boy up. I got a uh, an old wet sponge so I can wipe it on. And we're gonna take this solder. And we got this fancy gun here. And it actually is a spring loaded, so when you hit the button, it sucks. Sucks that and uh, sucks any loose solder right up. We call it a uh, Monica Lewinsky. Okay, so. Oh shoot, I didn't realize. I don't, I don't have much solder at all. I better be careful with this. And then we see here it's green, so we can uh, move this out of the way. And so now let's start doing it one by one here. And this is going to be funny, so you might want to stick around for this part. See, a little bit came off there. And a 
as I said, metal, metal is conductive, so um, heat travels very, very far in metal. Alright, so let's, uh, let's do this green one. And I wanted this metal plate so I could press down on the metal here. And with any luck, if I press down on these metal things, I won't even have to touch the solder tip. Oh, this is, this is not going to be a little bit unconventional here, but...
prefers, but it's just the language. It's the name of the game. I guess I really should have cleaned this, cleaned this tip. That's probably why it's not transferring heat very well. Okay, so I cleaned the tip just a little bit. Let's see if it'll transfer heat a little better. There we go, that's a good sign. It's a great sign. solder tip, but the, man, I need like a thimble or something. Soldering iron sucks. Yeah, that I suck. So it's not a good combination. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's uh, the worst job ever. But it is done. Only uh, four more to go.
we're stuck. Is that all of them? Oh no, I got the white one. I thought I did that one already. I guess not. Okay. Got the white one. I guess I was saving the uh, thickest for last because this one doesn't seem like it'll be that bad, but we all know how that goes. all I'm gonna do is jumbo this up. First I'm gonna remove our symbol. Oh, and my thimble. <laughs> symbol and the thimble, okay. Take that off. And where do I begin with this one?
go ahead and pick up all our junk here. All our scraps. symbol okay all right okay okay so we have Star the show back in the focus here. Okay. So we have these shitty little soldering joints. And honestly, I'm gonna have to individually wrap them because they are uh, individual pieces. And you don't want them, the exposed wire, touching each other because that would defeat the purpose of having a independent channel of conductivity to relay information, input information from the controller to the thing it's sending the information to. So I'm going to cut a couple of these pieces, a couple actually really small ones, one there, one there. looking than the other stuff. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. But uh, in the end, we're just going to wrap it up one time real good with this. So we're going to hide all this bird's nest. This part of the episode is called Wrap It Up. Don't want to cross contaminate data infected with a virus. Get our wires cross. Don't want some. Don't want to be uh, haphazard in which tips you let touch. Okay, I'm done being, I'm done being a child, sorry. Okay. Oh my god. Believe me, this is as painful for me as it is for you to watch. I'm hungry. My hands, my hands are shaky. And I actually just got finished shooting the Today I Learned video, but... trying to get away with cutting this in half.
there we are. All right. Fantastic. Is what I would say if I did a good job. All right. So I'll make sure there's not any loose ends. No tips touching. Here we go. There we go. Here we go. There we go. Everywhere we go, go. Play video games. That's what we're gonna do. And last but not least, I will just wrap it up one last time. I guess I'll start right here. Okay. And I'm gonna try my best to make this part actually turn out. Never mind, it's not gonna turn out looking clean. But I'm gonna do my best with what I have created here. This monster. Absolute monster. Okay. Slowly I'm gonna try to work it to make it. work its way down there, to kind of uh, use my thumb to change its direction. There we go. Almost. Okay, is that sufficient? You think so. Me think so. Me think so. Okay. Okay, guys. So, there we have it. That only took an hour. Probably more, actually. Because I was immersed in it. So, I probably don't have an accurate... Parts of that were actually fun for me, believe it or not. So... <laughs> well, uh, so, yeah, I don't have an accurate portrayal of... Uh, perspective of how much time probably went by. try to do something I don't normally do because I think it'll be cool there we go let's try to just not jump cut and uh, show you well oh, hold on one second let me change the mic well I guess it's not that bad it's okay where it is it's sufficient so Oh boy, I have a feeling that the whole time everything was out of focus, but we'll find out. That would suck. That would suck. But um if it is out of if it was out of focus, at least this is the end result. This this looks like it's about to go next. But, um, yeah, so, with any luck, we'll be, uh, doing live Super Mario 64 pretty soon, and, uh, maybe some other games. I love Bond, I love, uh, I like Zelda, but I'm trying to think, well, I love, um, uh, on the Super NES, Mario, Super Mario Brothers 3. Or no, that was the NES. So I love that one with the whistles. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know, I made some really shitty versions of me playing those games. Like a last fall. So 
go back and uh, if you feel like digging through the uh, channel. Good luck if you do. There's a lot of junk. Yeah, so there we go. The final product. And uh, let's find out if it works later on, some point in the future. I'm way too hungry to do it right now. Um, but as long as all my wires weren't crossed and connected up fine, then uh, I think it'll be okay. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'm going to go eat. What am I going to eat? Probably some eggs and grits and a little sausage. And uh, try to get some greens. <laughs> Have a good sleep. And, uh, and I'll see you next time.